Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. So, guys, as we get closer to Jamel Charlo Canelo fight, um, a lot of people are, you know, thinking that Jamel Charlo has a good chance. Jamel Charlo has come out and said he's going to stop Canelo. Um, and this, in my opinion, is great. Jamel Charlo is going into there confident. I think we've seen Jamel Charlo talking a lot more. Um, a lot of people said Jamel Charlo hadn't been himself and he's kind of like you know, what we would say, sucking up to Canelo, not really going at Canelo. A lot of people thought that he would, but now he's starting to talk a little bit more, which is great to see. Obviously, Jamel believes in himself. I do think this is going to be a... T I don't think... I think, obviously, my prediction will be the same. Uh, you guys know what I'm thinking, but I do think this is going to be a tough fight for Canelo. I think Charlo is a guy with a lot of self-belief. He's a guy that believes in himself. He's a guy that's coming in there not to make up the numbers. You know, Charlo, Jamel especially, his career has been fantastic. You know, he's an undisputed champion at 154. You know, he's not afraid. Uh, that's that's a very key That's a very key thing to note, that Jamel Charlo is not a guy that will take a step back. He's not afraid. He's not afraid of Canelo. He's very confident. He believes in himself. He believes in, in his ability. Uh, and and let's, let's be honest, Jamel Charlo at this point is riding a crest of a wave. He's at the top of his game. He's an undisputed champion. He's feeling himself. He's good. Uh, and and look, although I do think I disagree and I do think that Canelo is a bigger man in terms of like his physique um, because he's been fighting at a heavier weight. He's been t fight, sparring bigger people. He's been fighting bigger people. So Canelo's more used to the upper weight. I don't think the size difference is as big you know, as it would be if you went up and fought a Benavidez. Obviously, Benavidez is a natural 168. Canelo's not a natural 168. So although the size will be an advan disadvantage for Charlo, there's no doubt about it. Anyone that tries to claim that Charlo's bigger and this, that, the other, is like Canelo is more seasoned at that way. He's more, he's more um, used to fighting at that weight. That's all an advantage, you know. And Jamel Charlo can make 154. Canelo can't make 154. Canelo wouldn't be able to go back down to 154 at this point. I mean, Canelo said, I can't even make 160. That's what he said. He said, I wouldn't even go below 165. You know, that's what Canelo said. So that for me, you know, there's no doubt Canelo for me right now is the bigger man. But the size difference isn't as big as it would be like a Kel Brook going up and fighting a Golovkin. That was a massive. This isn't quite like that. Because Canelo is fighting at a weight which isn't natural to him. But he's been used to fighting at that weight. Now, for a while, he's acclimatized at that weight. Whereas Charlo's not. This is the first time Charlo's going to fight at 168. So, but I do think Charlo is a good fighter. I think Charlo's self-belief. I think Charlo's boxing ability, his talent will be, a, will be a problem for Canelo. I do. I do think early on in that fight that Canelo's going to have to come through a few storms. In terms of Charlo knocking Canelo out. Some people may say that might be the only way for him to win, but Canelo hasn't really shown me anything in his punch resistance at this point to say that Canelo's punch resistance... Canelo's had one of the best chins in boxing. You know, if you look at the guys that Canelo's for and the punches he's taken, I remember he took a, a left hook from Danny Jacobs. And a lot of people say that the Golovkin right hand was the hardest punch. I, I disagree. I think the hardest punch I've seen Canelo take was the left hook from Danny Jacobs. Oh my goodness, Danny Jacobs put everything into that left hook and it caught Canelo flush on the chin and Canelo didn't even he didn't even wobble I don't know how he took that punch and didn't even wobble like Danny Jacobs was throwing that same with Golovkin but that fight Danny Jacobs was throwing punches with bad intentions and that left hook that landed right just bounced off Canelo's chin and after that and then when I saw him against Golovkin as well I was like this guy's an iron man because literally everything just bounces off him. And Golovkin's the same, you know. But the only time I saw Canelo hurt ever was against that Migo Cotto's brother, I think, when he got caught and he was wobbled. But that was very early on in his career. He was a kid. And he weathered the storm and won that fight as well. Um, so really, if you look at it, Canelo Alvarez has shown a granite chin. So any kind of wobbling or any kind of he gets dropped, you know, that would show that Canelo Alvarez's um, chin is is probably going in the wrong direction, because if you if you think about it, Canelo Alvarez has never been hurt. He's never since that Miguel Cotto's brothers fight. 
You know, I've never seen Canelo hurt in a fight. I've never seen Canelo wobble. I've never seen Canelo like look buckled or look about to go down. I've never seen it. Canelo's just had, got such a strong chin. You know, it's unbelievable. I, I can't believe him and Golovkin have ridiculous chins. I think they've had the best chin of any. I think Danny Garcia has had a very good chin. I've never seen him hurt or wobbled. Or I know Keith Thurman caught him with a good shot, but Danny Garcia shrugged it off and came back. Garcia has had a great... I've never even seen these guys take a shot and they like back up and, you know, they look like they're on the retreat, that, they, they, you know, they're trying to survive. It's never been the case, you know. Canelo has had a great chin. So if Jamel Charlo was to be able to stop him, that would be a massive shot. I think if Jamel Charlo was to beat Canelo, it would be a massive shot. But if Jamel Charlo was to stop Canelo, that would be a huge, huge shock. Because uh, for me, Canelo Alvarez, like I said, his chin is is the is the best one of the best chins I've ever seen. The way this man's able to absorb and take punches is ridiculous. You know, for a guy to to have such a strong chin and to be able to absorb so much, it's incredible really. And like like I said, both him and Golovkin have been like you would say pioneers of the great chins. You know, they've just had unbelievable chins throughout their careers and and they've been so tough. Uh they have a lot of heart as well. They have great boxing ability to go with that. That's why they've been the ultimate warriors and fighters. Uh, their chins have been ridiculous. Uh, and not many fighters have chins like that. When you have a chin like that, and not just that, you know, Canelo Alvarez has got a very good defense as well. So it's not easy to catch him. But when you do catch him, there's not much like hitting a brick wall. So then he's got a good defense and he's got a great chin. That's like, you're never going to get knocked out, you know. Mayweather had a very good chin and you couldn't hit him. Mayweather was even more elusive than Canelo. That's why Mayweather never got knocked out because Mayweather Mayweather had a great chin and he had a great defense, you know. Um, so when you got a great chin like that, that's a big advantage because you're going into a fight, trusting your chin, knowing that if you get you can take shots, you can eat shots. And then not just that, uh, when you've got the ability of someone like Canelo as well, that makes you even more harder to beat. Um, so yeah, I think, although, like I said, I think Jamel Charlo, on the other hand, Jamel Charlo's got a great chin. Jamel Charlo's got a very good chin as well. He's shown to have a very, very good chin. He's got, and he's not just that, he's very, he believes in himself. So this is a very, very interesting fight. You know, obviously Canelo goes into the fight as a, as a favorite, but again, this is a very, very interesting fight. You know, a lot of people, as the time's coming closer, are starting to decide, there's a lot of people now swaying towards Charlo as well. You know, it's not just all people picking Canelo. There's also people out there that are actually picking Charlo to win this fight. Uh, Charlo himself believes in himself. And that's obviously great to see because he's going to need a lot of self-belief in this fight. He's going to need to weather a lot of storm in this fight because Canelo Alvarez, as we know, is a beast. And Canelo Alvarez is one of the best fighters in the world. And so is Charlo, by the way. Charlo's one of the best pound for pound. He's an undisputed champion at 154 as well. I don't really think he gets the credit, Charlo. Uh, probably because he's in a, not in a very glamorous division. The 154 division has not got many glamorous names. It's not It's not got many, you, what you, we would call so-called top names in the sport of boxing or marketable names. So what Charlo's done doesn't really get appreciated enough. Um, you know, I think I th even Charlo gets some, sometimes he gets uh, left out on the pound for pound list, uh, which I think is wrong because I think Charlo's fought guys like Tony Harrison and uh, Castano, who are really really good fighters, and not just that, he's fought other good fighters as well. Um, but those two, in my opinion, were really good fighters, and he managed to look. He managed to struggle with them and then come back, and that really impressed me because both guys he. You know, he struggled with it in the first fight, you know, losing to Harrison and many people felt he lost to Castano. But the way he was, the way he came back in both those fights uh, in the second, in the rematch and beat both guys uh, was definitely something that I, I, you have to appreciate because, you know, that's not easy to do, you know, to come back from uh, a fight the first time when, you know, some people were saying that they've got his number and then to come back and put in an impressive performance, that really impressed me. So uh, I really think that Charlo is going to give it his all against Canelo. I think he's going to give Canelo a tough moment. Who knows? Maybe who knows? Maybe he might be able to pull off the upset. I don't think so. But who knows? Charlo, like I said, has a lot of self-belief. He's going into that fight um, confident. So I'm interested. I'm interested to see what happens. I think Charlo's got nothing to lose. People expect him to lose. Um, 
he's got a free swing. I think he can only gain from this fight. Whereas Canelo Alvarez, on the other hand, has got a lot to lose because he's fighting a smaller guy. And so he has to go in there and dominate and look good. Uh, if Canelo was to lose, you'd probably say, you know, that would be near the end of his career. So, yeah, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But I'd love to know your opinion and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.